Okay, so there's a few different medical dramas out there. Mm -hmm. What makes New Amsterdam different? What sets it apart? The, uh, that's a great question because when I first got the script, I, I actually didn't was not that excited to read it because I said I've seen a medical show before. Is there anything special um, about this? And uh, Grace Wu at NBC was like, please read it, and I read it. And it's first off, David Schulner, who wrote the script, wrote um, this incredibly fast-paced, urgent, high stakes, but human and a live um, uh, story that is just really well-rounded and has really relatable characters. And at the center of it is this guy, Max, um, who is based on a real guy and a, who, on a real story, a really, guy who really said and did these things, which, which makes it exciting to me that it comes from a true story. And he's just a really kind of rambunctious, bullheaded, sort of mischievous character who's ultimately trying to change this system and get healthcare working again for people. You kind of mentioned the healthcare issues. We're already seeing so much. We're seeing political, racial issues of healthcare, romances. Mm. Is this kind of setting the tone for what we're going to see the rest of the season? Absolutely. I think so. I think there's a way to deal with these kind of political, racial themes and things in a human way, in a fun way, and it doesn't have to be um, overly serious or, or, you know, preachy or anything like that. What's great about the show and the sort of themes it gets into is that we're not really into, David and, and his writing team is not really into picking a side or preaching a message or convincing people of anything. It's really just about exploring where we are and how we can make it better, you know, which I really like right now when obviously, you know, as a country we're so divided right now, it's nice to be doing a show that is optimistic that doesn't focus on the division, but is focused on how do we get past that to get something done, to get people being cared for, to get people treating people like human beings, you know, instead of um, statistics or, or whatever. Um, so there's a real, you know, note of optimism and, and, and you know, it, it, my character asked the question, how can I help? So you guys have a fabulous lead-in on Thursday nights. You yes. know, this is us. How cool is that? It's awesome. It's a it's a wonderful show, and I'm such a fan of all the work that's happening on there, especially Sterling, and uh, those guys are great, and gals, and uh, it's just a wonderful show. And tonally, it's I think it's a nice companion piece. Yeah, definitely. Do you, yeah. you watch This Is Us? I've only seen a few because everybody wouldn't shut up about it, so I was like, all right, I'll watch this friggin' show already. Um, and you know, the Ken Owens great, the writing is terrific, the, again, honest, human, relatable characters who are experiencing life in a way that feels like our universal experience of it. So This Is Us, we've interviewed them before, and they, one theme that they all talk about is how close the cast is and how they have like this group text and all that stuff. Right. Are we going to have a little bit of that with New Me? Amsterdam? Absolutely. Yeah. And you can't really fake that stuff, you know? Like pe people either get along or they don't, and that closeness happens or it doesn't. And, I think one of the reasons that the show thus far in its infancy is 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 cool, or people are responding to it, is because because everybody got along, and because there's a real camaraderie and a real sense of not just creative uh, uh, collaboration, but also just yeah, we got the group threads going, and the everybody's really fun. We have these email chains that just get more and more ridiculous with everybody's absurd uh, reply to, to, to the next. So it's a really funny group of people. Yeah.